up beautiful people welcome once again to HN Clothings and in today's video we're going to learn how to make the bottom of this gown design okay so this design is going to be a transformer piece to any of your the style design clothing item whichever one you decide to do it in all right but I'll be doing this in a small scale version that means that I'm not going to be actually doing it like for my own gown or for my own dress i'll just do this so that you get the concept you get the idea then you can upscale it and insert it in your own gown design okay so if this is something that you've been curious to know how it was made please to keep on watching and yeah let us dive right into today's video all right guys so for this project especially for this one i will be using scuba design if you have any other fabric maybe a plain fabric maybe even an Ankara textured fabric any kind of fabric you have and you want to do this that is not as thick as scuba I'll suggest that you put your peplum stay to give it this um, firmness you can see that it's very sturdy with the way it was being carried you know that it's very sturdy so you can put your peplum stay there okay but since we're going to be using scuba, I won't be using any problems there. I just have this piece and we'll be working on this in a small scale design. So let us analyze the style design. The first one there, the bottom of the skirt is actually a circle skirt. It's a full circle skirt. So you need your full circle skirt. Then you need another circle skirt that was actually caught as a design. Okay. Then you need like ribbons, like trimmings that was put at the bottom of the dress then any other embellishment you think you need to spice up the outfit so i have just this plain scuba if you're going to be doing this for yourself or for your clients i would advise that you measure from three inches above your knee down to your ankle for the um circle skirt measurement so most times it's usually between 25 26 that kind of inches so once you measure that you do your circle measurement you fold your fabric into four and you take your circle measurement so i have a size chart here that you can refer to to see how to cut your circle skirt so you're cutting a full circle skirt that means by the measurement by four okay then once you're done with that we can now um, go right ahead to cut that up so i'll be doing this on this pattern so i'll show you how It'll be cut okay so I'll be folding my fabric into four imagine if this was your main fabric that you're going to be working with you fold it into four fold it like this then fold it like this because you want you don't want any sides open okay so I'm just going to make it a perfect square I don't just want to waste fabric so So now I can go ahead to measure. I'll just pin these things down. Okay. Now that I have this, I'll just assume that I have done my circumference. I'll use the four, um, the one quarter right that's the one divided by four now something that i would also want to tell you is you can actually go a size up so if you're the um, radius that's taking your knee circumference to do the radius here you need your knee circumference to do the radius here that's if it's three inches above your knee you need that knee circumference to do the radius here please take it take it real well though you allow for space for movement but still take it snug especially if you're going to be using a stretchy fabric even if you're using ankara whenever you cut circle skirts you see that it will definitely widen see it's spreading out more to get the perfect kind of um, 
fit I need. Let me just recut that one. So yeah, this is what we are talking about. Looks more pretty this way, yes. Okay, so now that we have this, okay. so now I want to go ahead to cut um, the second style. Now for the second style, you can go ahead to even make your make your design already. So let me show you how we are going to do it. That's for the one on top that you can see now, okay? Let me just pin these things together. Now that we have this, first thing you're going to do is you're going to determine where you want that smaller circle to be after you've done your radius. So I'm going to use a one inch radius because that one looked really pretty to the eyes. Now you're now determining where, how low you want this other one to be and you want it to maybe come all the way to maybe like let's say two inches here you want it to be like two inches two inches two inches to get to somewhere like here where you can actually then you know the other one is five inches long measure your five inches long there then from there you need this you need to just cover it out like this so let me show you again so from that five inches i'm going to do like a curve kind of thing right i'm going this way okay so that it gives you that shape that we can see up here and i'm going to be cutting this way yeah then i'll follow this and cut this out Cut this out. Okay, because we don't want it to be messed up, just cut it together anyway. Then you can now trim it when you're done. So I'm just following the outline, the shape that I traced out. Yeah. Okay. So this one now. I'll just trim it off following the normal this thing. Okay, so I've placed it so that I can see my inches. Okay, so this is the only part that is in front that is giving it that way yeah if it's not still looking so nice please go ahead to um go in more here so for me i'm going more and out okay just get the desired shape you want to see like so i think this is close to it here yeah? this is close this is close then now i'll just put this on top right on top like so to give it that style design so can you see that going to the bottom of the dress looking really pretty should have even done that in another color so that we can see so next we will go ahead to use our ribbons to embellish this thing so you can now place it this way and then place your ribbons around so i have my ribbons i'll take my um blue and try to start and start attaching the ribbons now okay so let's do that real quick
okay guys so first of all um don't use this fabric glue use your glue stick that's that electric one okay i've run out of candles for that one that's why i'm just using this and because this is not even a real fabric this is just like a mock-up we're just doing a mock-up so that's why i'm doing this okay secondly okay i wanted to use a ribbon instead of a bias for this i already brought out the ribbon put the ribbon unfortunately the ribbon is not going around this circle you want to know why i just thought to tell you this particular ribbon was not caught on the bias just as how your bias tape is actually caught on the bias as the name implies that's why it can go round circles and remain flat this one was cut on the straight grain so no matter how i even decided okay well, let me split it into two going around the circle was not just working it was giving me lumpy lumpy and um, circle it was doing this for me like it wasn't going and sitting perfectly on the circle so that was why i ditched this okay but if you have maybe all those velvet tapes that one i think is cut on the bias but this normal one this is like a satin ribbon it's not cut on the bias it actually is maybe for any other thing aside from um going around the circle it will work for other things but not going around the circle definitely so i ditched that and i'm using a an actual bias to do the black embellishment but if you have um that um um velvet tape that bias one that one too will do a very pretty job okay so Also, because scuba does not fray, I can get away with leaving it this way. Scuba doesn't fray, so I can get away with it. right now our project is taking shape you can see the base of all the whole design looking so good so pretty now we just want to go ahead to form the cone design that will be placed on this particular circle base that we already have if you do not want that cone design you don't need to take this extra step just go on to use the embellishments as whatever you're using as your black design round the cone so I'm still going ahead to use the bias but you know that on your normal project you will not use a bias okay then after that I'll just stitch it into a cone form Please go ahead to still use a peplum stay if you're using any other type of fabric because you want it to also be sturdy as well.
now on to fixing this cone design into your circle base you should just just go ahead to use your glue gun that's that um one that brings out sticky glue liquid to attach this or just stitch it up with a needle and a thread but i'm just using pins to hold it down first you want to use pins to hold down first or something temporary so that you can actually see that the placement is right you want everything to look good look appealing to the eyes go ahead to also do more cones if you think two won't be enough by the time you're done with the whole project you can go ahead to do like four cones okay so here i'm flipping the other cone inside out and i'll just work on the placement see where it looks good lift it up test it like just see that everything is looking aligned properly and yes that's just about it for this project i did enjoy making it and i can just imagine how it really is going to look in a gown This is really beautiful, I must say. I'm so obsessed with it already. See, I'm just lifting, turning, flipping. <laughs> nice. Alright, so guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Drop your comments as always. And yeah, till see you in the next tutorial. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye.